Hello all, Josh, this is Josh Build Stuff, and I had an idea, a Lego idea, if you will, because it is Lego Ideas qualifying results time once again. I thought it'd be fun to take a look at some Lego Ideas sets that have now reached the threshold of 10,000 votes, which can now be considered to be turned into official Lego sets. All the sets that we're gonna look at today uh, are now in the hands of Lego, and it's up to them to determine if they will turn any of these fan-created sets into official Lego sets. So I thought it'd be fun to scroll through this big list together and I'll give you some of my personal thoughts. But what I want from all of you is for you to give me some of your thoughts on these sets as well, because all I have are my own thoughts. But I'm curious what the greater LEGO community thinks about all of these sets. Let's look at all of these together. I do want to give a disclaimer that all of the views I give are just my own personal subjective views. Uh, the way I see it, everyone who's submitted an idea to LEGO Ideas, they are very brave and very creative and very talented, especially for them to get this 10,000 vote threshold. I do not want it to come across that like I'm criticizing anyone or critiquing anyone's hard work. I understand that a lot of people have put a lot of effort into these sets. I'm just giving some of my views. I'm not trying to be overly critical. All of you who have reached this threshold, in my opinion, you're already wildly talented and more brave than I have ever been. So with that being said, let's take a look at these sets. There were 34 new product ideas that have achieved that vote threshold and are now being considered as official sets. Let's go through these one by one. The first is the Lifeguards Shack. I'm just going to scroll through this list. If I see something I want more details on, I can click on it, but we'll probably run through most of these pretty quickly. The first is the Lifeguards Shack. It's got a nice little David Hasselhoff minifigure there. Everyone wants that. I actually really like the design of this. It's simple, it's quaint, it's not too big, not too crazy, the coloration is really nice. That would be a really nice set to have in a city or beachfront scene or whatever. I'd like it, but it is uh, somewhat nautically adjacent themed, so I am a little biased there. Next is the Imperial Island Fort. I also really like the design of this one, but I was a big fan of the old school pirate sets and the Imperial sets that went with that. At this point, LEGO must know that we all want more pirate stuff and Imperial stuff. I would buy this set if it came out right away. Spaceballs! I am a fan of Spaceballs as much as the next guy. I love Star Wars, I love parodies, I love Spaceballs, I love Mel Brooks films, I love Spaceballs. I would love for this set to become a reality, but I'm pretty sure there is like a licensing agreement and it's the entire reason that Spaceballs was able to be created in the first place is that I think there was a contingency that no merchandise was ever created based on the Spaceballs franchise, hence the merchandising jokes in the actual movie. So I don't think this is possible to be created uh, in any case. And then we're also, we're going to get into a bit of a, a recurring motif or theme of sets in this Lego Ideas round. And it is buildings, man. I got nothing against buildings. I just don't personally buy modular buildings, but there are a lot of buildings in this latest round. I think we're just missing a bit of variety and a bit of submarines. Just give me more submarines, specifically the Nautilus from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That's a different story for a different day. This one is the costume store. I like the idea, not pun, not intended. It is a costume shop. It's beautiful. Obviously, no one can debate that. The architecture is great. The theming is great. But I just don't know if it has that, you know, the, the pizzazz, the spark that it needs. Next up, BTS Dynamite by JB Brick Fanatic. What up, JB? Good to see you. We like that dude in the LEGO community. I think I don't know him that well personally. I believe BTS is like an a, 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 a Asian overseas, uh, very popular group of musicians and this set i think is from a music video of theirs sorry i am not very well acquainted with this the set itself is actually quite simple in my opinion and i'm again i'm not trying to be too critical but it feels like this reached the vote threshold because of the popularity of the band and not like the the set itself but who knows best of luck to you i i don't know the band personally but maybe i'll look up some of their music after this next up the movie set i actually really like this one but it kind of it's like the person had fun designing a bunch of like building facades, but didn't want to build buildings for them. And they're like, I've got an idea. Add a little dolly and a couple of cameras there. We'll call it a film set all of a sudden. The, bu the buildings, the facades, they are all very beautiful though, in my opinion. The A-frame cabin. This is one that I've seen some other opinions on where people say like, this one is probably the one that's going to be made. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't criticize Lego for uh, going this direction. It does look beautiful. I just love the like cozy atmosphere, the aesthetic, a little bit of variation in like the height of every like board on this set kind of seems impossible for Lego to do in a real set. That would be interesting to see as an actual technique, but every little element of this thing, it just feels 
really nice. The Boston Dynamics Spot, the one quarter scale or one one to four scale uh, motorized model. This one would be cool. If you've seen the Boston Dyna Dynamics stuff, they make very cool robotic things that are honestly a little frightening for the future. This is like the quote unquote dog that they have. It would be cool if it got created. I'm sure it would like require some licensing stuff, though I do appreciate this set for its ingenuity, for its creativity, and for the fact that it is not a building. Speaking of buildings, we've got the medieval tavern. The other kind of motif here is that not only do we want pirate stuff, we also want castle stuff. And like this is like castle medieval village kind of stuff. I love the aesthetics. I love the bright blue on the roof here. It pops the green, the vines running up and down the buildings. This does feel like a medieval village tavern that I would love to see like in a video game or something. Who knows how Lego actually feels about creating that stuff uh, at this point as official sets. Next up, the Women of Computing. I really like that Women of NASA set. Why not give us more Women of Computing, uh, like just any other, just more women themed sets. Like it's going to appeal to the female audience, it'll appeal to science nerds like myself. Like this set, honestly, I don't see a huge downside in creating this. It'll be a weird decision that if Lego decides not to make this, uh, I don't actually have high hopes that they will actually make that set. Hey, here's another medieval themed building, the Tavern Under the Snow. The other one was called the Medieval Tavern. This one's different because it's winter time now. Again, castle, we like castle, we want castle. The working mini golf course. This one is intriguing because it has some play elements to it. it. Looks like a couple of holes on a mini golf course. This one's aesthetically pleasing. It's got some technic elements. It's got to have some like mechanical stuff under the scenes there. Very cool, very intriguing, very colorful. I like that one. I don't know that Lego would actually create it, but who knows, we'll see. The brick walk, again, another beautiful building. This one, not so old school medieval or pirate theme, but still, Looks very nice, but who knows how Lego feels about that kind of thing at this point. Hey, here's a medieval harbor. So I don't know if this is more medieval or more pirates. Either way, the, the people have spoken. We want this stuff from Lego. This is a cool looking set. I love the little boat. I love the buildings. I love the dock atmosphere. I love the trees. I love this set. I don't know that Lego will actually make it. This one, a floating island with that, uh, the tins, tinsegrity, tinsegrity. However you, you pronounce it, it's the like floating building kind of thing. These were cool. They were very popular for a little while, but I don't know that Lego would put one in an actual set because I don't know that they would be stable enough. Still beautifully made. I love the micro scale stuff. I love a little floating ship there that's just kind of steampunky and I like it. Next, GameStop Classic Shop. I believe this is a reference to the recent like Wall Street bets, stock market craziness, stupidness. It's got a monkey, which I'm supposed to be, it's supposed to be the apes. It's like apes together strong, but this is a monkey. He has a tail. Apes don't have tails. So we're already off to kind of a bad start. It's on the moon. It's just, it's just cheap. The idea is cheap and dumb and we can all do better. The aircraft engine workshop. This one actually looks really beautiful and I think will appeal to a very niche audience. Still though, this would look, how cool would it be to have like a big, nicely modeled version of like an aircraft engine on display in the background of an office or like a, a like in an aircraft shop or something but i don't know that there's enough mass appeal and i feel like lego will think that too speaking of not enough mass appeal you guys remember a little show called scooby-doo this is a mystery machine from scooby-doo and i think um i think lego made this before honestly logistically i'm just curious how this would even be turned into an actual set because like the decals on the side of this thing like these intricate waves and stuff that couldn't possibly be stickers like that's a ton of stickers and getting them to line up like that that would be crazy like a logistical interesting scenario but i think i follow let them fly lego on a on a instagram so maybe go do that also i think they make some very cool stuff. The airport fire truck, Rosenbaum Panther, whatever, whatever, whatever. This vehicle, super complicated, super cool, super technically nice. Again, kind of a niche market, I think, that would really appreciate this. It just goes to show how much talent is out there in the Lego community. Because look, this looks like a crazy, big, awesome, could be an official Lego set, but who knows if it has the appeal to be turned into an official Lego set. Let's go to more medieval buildings, shall we? This is the traditional German cottage it looks beautiful i love the inclusion of a bagel i love the inclusion of this cool like old german car i think this looks great architecturally i think i love that roof shingle technique again no idea how lego feels about buildings but this would be very cool to see on shelves as an official set and speaking of things that are out of this world the outer solar system explorers a bunch of satellites that we've all sent to space these look very cool. Lego's made some space sets already. I don't know that they would release a set 
with six big satellite things. I just, again, it's all, in my opinion, it's up to what has mass appeal across like a big market that could sell to a lot of people. This feels like it has kind of a narrow market. I feel like I would fit into that market. I would really like this set. I just, I don't have high hopes for it. No offense. And this one, Knight Rider. This is another vehicle that I have personally like cited in like, hey, what other classic car, uh, uh the what are their classic like car characters i was going to say i guess knight rider is kind of or kit is like a classic character in old car shows but it's like this smoking the bandit the dukes of hazard car like those always come up in the same conversation with the delorean and the ecto-1 which we got the ecto-1 we're rumored to get the delorean i don't know if this was like family friendly enough or like if there's enough appeal for like give me a big semi truck on display still very cool looking set in my opinion now let's go back in time again to another medieval village uh, building. This one, look at that cool, crazy roof technique going on. It's got a mill there. Like this looks like it would fit right into a medieval village. Honestly, Lego at this point just released like a, a whole line of buildings that are all kind of in the scale, same scale as each other and like let people build Lego cities that aren't just daily bugles and other modular shops and stuff. They can just have big medieval villages. Jaws is a movie about a shark that eats people. It's not exactly a family friendly theme. This one might have to fall into the 18 plus category, but if you know me, you know that I like boats and anything themed just even vaguely nautically. And so I like this set, just like from the general look of it, the shark, in my opinion, could be designed a little better and honestly may not even need to be included in this set. I would love to see a set of just the boat. I think the boat was called like the Orca or something like that. That being said, we literally just had a, uh, a big fishing boat in the, uh, what's it called? The Bricklink Designer Program. I think I bought that big boat. Who knows when those are actually going to ship, but uh, I love the boat. I love the general idea. I don't know that Lego would be able to get behind an idea like Jaws. The next up is the basement and sewerage. I like this one because it is not a big medieval building. No offense to all of those. This one is just something different. I'm sure that I think there's like more to it than just like one little facade of like, uh, yeah, there's like a whole like system of basement stuff. It is a, it, a very like, as an idea, that's a unique idea to be like, I'm going to create like a little underground, like a system of tunnels. This is where workers work and stuff. Honestly, just retheme this as a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set. I'm on board. Up is a movie that I actually really, really enjoyed. I watched it again recently and I really like the house from Up. And rest in peace, Ed Asner, the uh, voice actor who voices uh, 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 Carl's character. In that movie, he just recently passed away, which is very sad. The movie, the house was iconic looking. Honestly, I would buy this set if it was just the house. Like, we don't need the bird. We don't need Doug as a dog. We don't even need, like, the balloons up top. That overcomplicates everything. Give me the beautiful, nicely colored house. Give me Carl and the kid, and we're on board. Look at this. It's buildings. It's nautically themed, but it's not medieval, and it's not just one big building. It's like a micro scale little city thing honestly i could see lego making more stuff like this like give me little micro scale sets that are this looks a little smaller than the architecture set or maybe like a little bigger than an architecture set i don't know i just i love the ingenuity here i love the the design techniques and everything i love the little boat this would be a really cool one to have also how many times do we have to petition for lego to bring back the lord of the Rings series it's rumored that it might come back in the next couple of years or so because of tv shows or whatnot this is minas tirith uh, that big building, not building, a castle built into a mountain or whatever. It would be cool. Um, it would be cool. I don't have a strong opinion on that one. Also, <laughs> y'all remember that TV show from what, the 90s? The Nanny with Fran Drescher? My wife and I actually recently watched through this show, like, uh, again, recently. It's actually not a bad show. All in all, if you can get past Fran Drescher as a character, the building is cool. Architecturally, the characters are fun. Legos, Legos done other sitcoms already. It'd be cool to see that one. Maybe it wouldn't make it in like quite that scale. Also, I love just like the uh, the juxtaposition, if you can even call it that, maybe just the similarities between the two buildings here. Like this could be called the nanny's apartment as well as the actual nanny's apartment set. This is another literally the apartment set. I think it would fit right in with the modular buildings, but I don't buy the modular buildings. Another medieval fortress. This one's like, it's got a water wheel worked in there. Man, but this one looks a slightly different scale than the other uh, medieval buildings. But I told you, there's a there's a theme going on here. Beautiful set. Uh, 
that's all I have to say about that. This one's called House of Time. It's really, it's like a cuckoo clock or a big Lego clock. For some reason, I really love Lego clocks, cuckoo clocks that are built like this with mechanics built into them. Like there's a lot that ends up being behind a lot of these. I haven't dug into this one too far. It looks nice aesthetically. It'd be cool to have like an actual clock you could hang on the wall. But personally, I don't think I would buy it. I don't think I am the audience for it. Hey, remember when we were talking about classic like TV show vehicles? The A-Team van is another classic vehicle. This is actually a nice depiction of it, though. Again, I don't know if the theme of the A-Team show was a little too adult. I mean, it's just like people beating up other people and stuff like there is. That being said, I'm sure there is an audience large enough that would appreciate this set. This one is actually similar to that other A-frame cabin that I said would have like a high chance of being created. I think this one would also have a high chance of being created. This one's just called Log Cabin. I love the design techniques here. Again, the roof looks like cool. And I think this one's a little more achievable than the A-frame roof. I love the canoe and the dog and the archery and everything going on here. This set feels super, super cozy. And I think with that being said, we have reached the end of the uh, review session. Here are all of the sets lined up. There were 34 of them. That's actually a bunch of sets. Hopefully I wasn't too critical of it, any of these, but like, like I said before, we kind of have some things that are obvious that us as Lego community want. We like buildings, I guess. We like modulars. We like pirate themed things. We like medieval themed things. Give us more of those. But personally, I would love to see some things that aren't just buildings. Lego and the Lego Ideas platform, they literally give us the freedom to create anything, an infinite number of possibilities. We don't just have to create buildings and vehicles, but it seems that us as fans or the Lego community, we like seeing buildings that would either fit into a big Lego city or like our buildings from shows or, or franchises that we know and recognize or vehicles from things that we recognize that totally makes sense. But in order for Lego to create those things, they need licensing agreements and all kinds of other stuff. I just like to think about the like logistics of these things actually being created. But honestly, if I, if I had to guess what would be turned into a real Lego set here like any of the medieval village buildings I could totally see being turned into actual Lego sets maybe some of these vehicles but honestly like we may get one or two buildings out of this round who knows I am excited to see the final results of that round but like I said earlier I'm really curious to see what all of you think about the sets that have qualified here so let me know in the comments down below and as always thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like subscribe and tell your friends I have an idea let's end this video I'll see you next time